Hey folks, it's Mike. Uh, it's, it's that time of year again. It's uh, time to take your uh, leftover turkey, uh, cranberry sauce, uh, sweet potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes, my preference. I prefer that over anyway. Um, and uh, other items like uh, chocolates, you know, Christmas chocolates and uh, candy canes and uh, put them all in a blender, blend them up, have a nice uh, healthy smooth, uh, well, smoothie. Mm. I suppose with the New Year's resolutions, you go to the gym and you work off all that, you know, Christmas, post Christmas turkey uh, smoothie stuff. Anyway, um, it's uh, it's that time of year again for me, uh, where uh, I present uh, my top ten ish list of uh, photos from uh, well this year, the 2023. Um, so have a seat, get ready, let's go. So instead of uh, starting at uh, number 10, I'm going to start at number 11 because it's my list and I'm allowed to do it. So no complaints, no arguments. Talking to you. Uh, anyway, uh, at number 11, uh, back in uh, March, um, I took this photo of uh, some uh, bikes racing on uh, a track. Uh, it was uh, the final uh, event of the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships. I think I said that right. Uh, but anyway, uh, first time I'd, I'd been uh, to uh, an event like this. Uh, I was in uh, Beauzeur back in March and uh, just wanted to do a lot of practicing with, uh, you know, panning shots and taking shots of, you know, machines going around at uh, fast speeds. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I mean, this photo itself was with, uh, with uh, motocross bikes. It's also power toboggans, AKA snowmobiles, AKA skidoos. I know some people get sort of offended by the usage of skidoo, but whatever. It's my video. I'm allowed to say it. Um, but, uh, it, it, it was a fun day and, uh, you know, I got to, uh, switch between a wide angle lens and, uh, a, uh, a zoom lens. Uh, I think it was my 70 to 200 I, that I used, and uh, you know, it's uh, I got some great results. Uh, I ended up with probably a good 30-ish shots, which kind of surprised me. I was I was ex only expecting maybe half that, maybe something like that. But uh, yeah, that that's it for number 11. All right, at uh, number 10 is uh, this shot of the Milky Way um, back in May. Um, that was part of uh, my video from, uh, from that time. Uh, and uh, it was, I mean, I've been trying to make an effort over the last year or so to uh, improve um, my Milky Way photography, uh, both with shooting the Milky Way and with processing the, uh, the images. Um, from what I remember, this was a stack of 21 images of the sky and three of the ground. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a shot I'm pretty happy with. It's, uh, you know, I'm very happy to uh, have uh, had all that detail come out from the Milky Way. And um, I'm kind of hoping for, for next year to, uh, to get some more uh, deep sky you know, things like uh, the Andromeda Galaxy and uh, and uh, North American Nebula and the Crab Nebula and that kind of thing. See, see what I can do. All right, at uh, number nine is uh, the shot from the uh, Leo Mole Sculpture Garden. Uh, this was a, uh, a shot that, uh, as you can see with the, the framing, um, I uh, shot it through um, the hair of uh, a, uh, a statue from one side um, with focusing in on a statue uh, that's in, actually in the middle of the, uh, the pond. Um, and uh, took this with uh, my uh, Canon FTB uh, film camera, um, which, you know, uh, I believe I featured this photo in, uh, in that video from, from July as well. Um, I, you know, it's, uh, you know, I've been wanting to uh, play with uh, with film photography a little bit more, and uh, I uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, in fact, I've been kind of going through uh, some some negatives from other shots that I've taken and finally had developed this year. Um, I'll 
probably feature that in a future video. Um, so stay tuned. All right, at uh, number eight, it's uh, Duran Duran with uh, The Reflex. It's, uh, it's a great song at, oh wait, hang on, sorry. Wrong list. Uh, at number eight is uh, the shot from uh, a uh, trail leading to a park in my own neighborhood. Um, I took this uh, in the fall uh, with all the uh, you know nice leaves falling on the ground and uh, still on the tree. So yeah, you know this was at least for Winnipeg is definitely uh, got to be late September, early October. Anything later than that, all the leaves are down. Um, so yeah, and I've been wanting to uh, to take a shot of this uh, this trail for a while now, uh, and just sign up sort of finally got up and went, I got to do this. So I did. Uh, so, you know, and, and I just like how the, uh, the trail itself sort of just leads right in through to the, uh, the background of the, uh, the photo and, uh, you know, with the, the colors and, uh, it's, it's quite nice. I like it. All right, at uh, number seven is uh, Against All Odds, Take a Look at Me Now uh, from Phil Collins. And I was looking at the wrong list again, wasn't I? Give me a sec. Right. Top 10 photos, not top 10 songs. Anyway, uh, this shot at uh, number seven is uh, from uh, one of the uh, Dawn's Photos uh, monthly hangouts. Um, it's uh, a, uh, an image of a can of juice that uh, I took as uh, sort of kind of a cross promotion between Don's Photo and Umido Donuts, uh, a local donut chain here in Winnipeg. And uh, I decided I wanted to do a bit of a 1970s Japanese magazine ad sort of look to it. So I added a bit of grain and sort of, uh, you know, did a little other, you know, editing to it as well to give it sort of that look that you'd find in, you know, like a magazine ad back in the 70s. So, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. So, you know, I figured it's, it's got to belong in this list. Um, take a look at me now also belongs in a list of mine as well, but, but yeah. And at uh, number six is not Lionel Richie's Hello. I've, I've learned my lesson. I've looked at the right list this time. But uh, anyway, it's uh, two shots from the same event uh, hosted by the Walker and Lake Claw Studios in uh, the Exchange District. Uh, so they had a, uh, a get together with uh, photographers and models. Um, and uh, this first shot is uh, of uh, Monolame Nadine. And uh, uh, you know, I've put some red wing, sort of a fallen angel look to her. Uh, and uh, although I did make a bit of a, uh, an error when I shot the photo, I shot it too wide and some of the, the actual studio space showed up in the photo. So I had to do a bit of, you know, Photoshop work to, uh, to sort of clone that out to, uh, to get this final shot. And uh, very happy with it because it, uh, I think it turned out fabulous. And uh, with uh, this second uh, shot, it's a uh, model named, <coughs> excuse me, model named uh, Micah. And uh, she, uh, you know, very lovely as well, and uh, gave her um, sort of the, uh, the white uh, angel wings. And um, in the, uh, the processing of this photo, I sort of wanted to give it uh, kind of a 1930s, 1940s, Hollywood uh, glamour look to it. So I, you know, converted it to black and white and, you know, played around with uh, some, you know, some texture and uh, clarity and uh, contrast and, and et cetera. And, uh, you know, very happy with this shot as well. And uh, so, yeah, um, yeah. At number five is this uh, shot of the uh, Northern Lights that uh, I took uh, north of uh, Selkirk um, back in uh, uh, September. Um, 
I will say one thing that was really special about this night was the fact that uh, it led into my 25th wedding anniversary. And uh, both my wife and I were photographers, and we both considered this kind of a special night and uh, kind of a good way to, uh, you know, bring in the, uh, the 25 years. Um, as well, uh, it was just a beautiful night. Um, northern lights were sort of all over the sky. Um, but uh, I got this particular shot uh, early on when uh, there was another vehicle that was parked um, in the spot that you see in this photo. Uh, and I like the way that the, the northern lights sort of just kind of went down sort of at a bit of a diagonal uh, onto, onto this vehicle. Um, so yeah. At number four uh, is two shots from both from uh, Pinawan Dam Provincial Park back in January. And uh, I've kind of fallen in love with going to Pinawan in January in early February where a lot of snow, yeah, it's a little cold and yeah, it sucks having a park out on, uh, on the road to outside the park and then walk in, you know, 20 minutes just to get to spots like uh, that you see in, in these two photos. Um, this first one's of a, uh, what's called a, uh, an Inuk Shuk, um, which I'll put a bit of a description at the bottom. I honestly don't remember what an Inuk Shuk was really, but uh, sorry. Just the way I am, I forget stuff like this. But uh, anyway, um, I really like how, uh, you know, it, it sort of is the main subject in this photo and that you can see other sort of smaller Inuk Shuks in sort of the background, including one right through the, the legs of the Sinook Shook. Uh, the second shot from Pinawa Dam is of the dam itself. And, uh, you know, it just, with the leg coming over the dam and with the snow and a bit of frost, it was, it was beautiful. What can I say? I like it. All right, it's, uh, number three is this shot from uh, Rushing River Provincial Park in uh, just over the border in Ontario, um, just outside of Kenora. And uh, it's, uh, it's really only been the uh, second time I've been to Rushing River Provincial Park. Um, first time was back in, uh, was it February of 2020, which you can see in one of my first videos way back when. And uh, <sighs> It, what can I say? It's a, it's a beautiful place to go to uh, with all the, the water and the, uh, the trees and, and, and the, uh, the Canadian shield and, you know, with all the rocks. And, yeah, it, it was a wonderful day. Um, actually, got to uh, explore more of the park this time because more of it was open and uh, easily accessible. Um, I suppose with, you know, uh, an SUV and some winter tires, I probably could have gotten further back in, in February, but uh, I was with a friend and we were in a small hatchback. So uh, yeah, we couldn't do that. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, I, I really like how the photos turned out from, uh, from there, uh, including this, this one that, uh, that I'm showing at number, number three. So yeah. All right, at uh, number two is this uh, shot from uh, September at uh, White Mouth Falls Provincial Park, which uh, is sort of right on the border of uh, White Shell uh, Provincial Park. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it, again, fabulous sort of Canadian Shield type area um, with a little bit of uh, running water um, and, you know, fall scenery. Um, this particular photo, uh, reason I'm really proud of it is it's actually a three shot, uh, composition where, uh, in the foreground, it was a 20 second shot, um, of the water, uh, in the water. I wanted to look pretty glassy, pretty, pretty smooth. Uh, and then, uh, you know, also show some detail of the, uh, the rock itself just to the, the left side of it. Uh, a little bit further up uh, in the mid-ground is, uh, is the water that's sort of falling through some rocks. That shot itself was taken at, uh, I believe it was two or two and a half seconds. I, I'd have to check again, but whatever. Um, and then the, uh, the background itself uh, was taken at, uh, with the tree with the trees, it was one and one hundredth, hundredth, 
One one hundredth of a second. Really, I can say this. Honest. Anyway, um, yeah, as I say, I combined all three of these photos into this, this one spectacular photo that, uh, that you see. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of uh, a lot of the photos that you're, you're seeing here today. Well, okay, I'm proud of all of the photos that you see here today. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt myself here. Um, I, going through this process of trying to get the top 10-ish photos, I came up with a list, uh, an initial list of, of photos that uh, I really wanted to feature and select, you know, uh, the top 10-ish photos from. There's about another dozen that didn't make the list, but I'm still very proud of them for various different reasons. Like I've got shots of uh, um, drifting cars, which I'd never taken photos of before. Um, you know, again, a, a chance to play around with panning, um, as well as uh, a shot from uh, Gimli uh, Motor Speedway where, you know, dragsters. Uh, also other various different uh, photos, like a photo of this uh, crocus, which, I honestly thought it was a lot bigger than it really was. I mean, it, it was like that small. It's really pretty, though. And, you know, it's it's also the provincial flower of, of Manitoba. Um, and some of these other photos that uh, I'll show as well, I'll, you know, provide sort of brief descriptions when, you know, I flash them up on the screen. And uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, back to your regularly scheduled video. At number one, finally, number one, 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 uh, anyway. Finally, at number one is uh, the shot from uh, La Barrier Park back on uh, New Year's Day of uh, 2023. Um, my wife wanted to, uh, to stay home to do some toy photography, and I kind of felt I wanted to go out and take advantage of uh, the, the rime frost that was uh, prevalent on uh, trees pretty much everywhere in the area. Um, the uh, temperatures uh, around this time um, were probably in the, about the minus five to minus ten range, although we had temperatures, you know, going up to about zero, um, which were sort of the perfect conditions for getting, you know, frost on the uh, on the trees. And uh, you know, as I say, I wanted to take advantage of it, and so yeah, I went to La Barrier Park on uh, New Year's Day, twenty twenty-three. Um, 
and uh, just uh, it was it was lovely. It, it, in fact, it's one of the photos that uh, I've got printed out and I'm selling. You know, so if if you want a copy of that photo or any other of my photos, let me know. You just put it in the comments. Contact me via you know my email address, which is uh, wpg mSmithphotography at gmail.com um, or any of my other socials which you know you you always see at the end of my videos so yeah contact me if you want uh, a print um, or contact me if you would just want to say hi and say how you doing but uh, yeah I mean that uh, that sort of finishes off the uh, the top 10 ish list um, so yeah. Um, at this point, I'll wish you uh, all a happy new year, and uh, uh, you know I want to do a lot, ha you know, do a lot more, have a lot more fun in 2024. So I'll see you then.